Hello my dear friends. Welcome to our math classroom. Did you see grandma's poultry farm today? Ah, uh, the many hens and chicks at the farm. Here you can see two coops. At the evening, grandma told one thing to Abhinand and Nandana. Yes, here are many chicks and two coops. Only 25 chicks can enter in one cage. Rest of the chicks? Yes, to the second coop. Grandma seeks help of Nandana and Abhinand to keep the rest of chicks to the second coop. Can you help Abhinand and Nandana? Okay, let us help. Look, here are a lot of chicks. Only 25 chicks can enter this first coop. Okay, firstly, let us move 25 chicks to the first cage. Ah, you can see some chicks are still outside. They can't enter to the first coop. What will do? Yes, let us move these chicks into the second coop. How many chicks are here now? Please count. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten chicks. Let us move all these into the second coop one by one. Friends, you have to count each one so as to get the total number. Okay? Yes, 25 chicks are here in the first coop. You know. Move the first one to the second coop. Now the total number is? Yes, very good. 26. Next, 27. Ah, 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Ah, look, one chick is still outside, the last one. Let us move it to this cage. Yes, now the total number is 35. Grandma, Grandma, Nandana called out. Total 35 chicks, isn't? Yes, very good. Well done. Total 35 chicks, Grandma said. Next day, Grandma told Abhinand and Nandana to move all these herds in separate coops. Look here. You can see here the herds. Can you find out the total number of each group? Okay, let us find. Here are some clues. Look the clues. Look this group. Here are five ones and four tens. Can you find out the total number of this group? Five ones, four tens. Yes, you know. Very good. Forty-five. Look this group. How many number total in this group? Yes, six ones and three tens. Total thirty-six. Next group. Two ones and eight tens. Total number good. Eighty-two. 
and look at the last group. Ah, uh, nine ones and seven tens. Total, yes, seventy nine. Okay, dears, you have already learned how to play Kuhn and Son. You need a long stick. Yes, it is Kuhn, and ten short sticks, the sons, to play this game. Okay. Toss them together on the floor. You can pick one stick and take all without moving any stick. You will get ten points for Q and one point each for the sons. You may play two or three rounds. Okay, look here. These are the points scored by our friends. Can you find out the total points? Each friend scored after three rounds. Look here. Abhinand got two queens and eight sons. Can you find out the total points scored by Abhinand? Yes, two tens and eight ones. Total, twenty-eight points. What about Nandana? Yes, three queens. And five ones. Total points. Yes, three tens and five ones. Very good. Total thirty-five points scored by Nandana. Friends, you have to find out the total points scored by Namida, Nusrat, and Unni like this. Okay, do it. Look here. This is the point table. The points scored by each after three round. Can you find out who is the winner? Who got more points after three rounds? Find Abhinand. No, he got only twenty-eight, two ten, and eight ones. Who got more? Yes. It is Nusrat. She got thirty-nine, three tens, and nine ones. Nusrat is the winner. Okay, friends. Now we may play another interesting game. Look, these flowers. Each flower has a number, isn't? Yes, twenty-eight. Thirty-five, thirty-seven, twenty-three, and thirty-nine. Look, this is not in a correct order. Shall we arrange it in correct order? Which one is the smallest number? Yes, twenty-three. Very good. Next one. Yes, twenty-eight. Then which flower? Ah, thirty-five. Then thirty-seven. Which one the largest number among these? Yes, thirty-nine. Very good. Twenty-three, twenty-eight, thirty-five, thirty-seven, and thirty-nine. Okay, my dear ones. Now you have to complete this activity, page number thirteen, in your textbook. Okay, friends. Let us see the next class. Bye.